I am a pediatric neurologist working in Mexico City in one of the biggest uh, child neurologist hospitals in Mexico called Hospital Infantil de Mexico. And my areas of interest and research are over neurodevelopment, autism, language problems, ADHD, and epilepsy. I hear uh, about Equasen before then, but Equasen was not in Mexico. Then we find each other and try to start to do the research. And why Equasen? I think because two very important things. One is the quality of the omegas. And it's very important the quality of because with the high quality omega, you have a very good absorption in the gut and you have a very good penetration to the brain. Mm -hmm. That's very important. And the other very important thing with Equasan is the relationship with, between omega-3 and omega-6. Mm -hmm. And for the brain, this is a very important combination for uh, improvement the functioning of the neurons. You know? mm -hmm. Then that was uh, what I really very excited to work with Equasan. <laughs> We uh, did the first study about the use of the efficacy and safety of the use of equasin or omegas 3 and 6 in ADHD patients. We have a very big population of child between 6 and 12 years, years old and we have a um, three branch or three arms of the treatment, one with only omega-3 supplementation, what with methylphenidate, that is the first line treatment for ADHD, and one, and one with combination. And what's amazing because at the beginning of the study, the methylphenidate was um, improved very fast, the symptoms. But after 8 to 12 weeks, we noticed that with Equasen, the symptoms was um, very equal to the methylphenidate and the other very surprising thing was the, the group of, of childs who are using methylphenidate plus, um, methylphenidate plus uh, omega-3, they use um, lesser doses of methylphenidate with a better tolerance, uh, lesser side effects, uh, with the same results. Then after we, we followed these kids for a year, and after a year, we have the same results for the three groups. And this is amazing, you know, because maybe we can, we can have this uh, group of kids who have inattentive symptoms. And maybe you can uh, give only with supplementation. Maybe you don't need it to treat with um, uh, drugs, with medical pharma, with uh, methylphenidate. And if you need to, to use methylphenidate or atomoxine, that is the other first line treatment for ADHD, you can use with in combination with equasin. And this will reduce the doses and this will improve the symptoms, the ADHD, the cognition, and you will have a lesser side effects. Then there will be a better tolerance and better adherence. Yes, because you know, uh, the brain is um, constructed about 60-65% 60, of omegas. And of these 60%, 70% are of omega-3 and the other is omega-6 and very less of omega-9 and other omegas. Then the best form to impact over the neuronal membrane is to have this same combination. And I think it was to have the ideal combination of omega-3 and omega-6 
combination that it's a nine to three, you know, one of those. Mm -hmm. I think it's the better, the better combination. We have two hypotheses about how is working the omegas in the brain. One is that uh, the omega-3 is uh, working in having a very good myelin. It is this uh, cover that covers the, the lung axon, but it's the weights of the, of the neurons. It's like a high waist, no? And then if you have a barrier high waist, you have a faster communication. Then the omega-3 help to build these high waist better in the brain. And the other is that this the neuronal membrane is um, stabilizes with the with this uh, bilipid uh, cap. Now then, you need to build a very good highways, and you need to stabilize the the neuronal membranes. Then, when you use in in childhood, you are improving the building of these highways. When you are using in adults, you are not building more highways, but you are stabilizing the membrane. Then I think it's very important to use early in the neural development because you can help to have a better development. And in the early and the adulthood and early, you will stabilize. We have a lot of things in the adulthood no, that uh, can you don't sleep well, you have a lot of work, you have a lot of stress, a lot of contamination. And then your brain and your uh, neuronal membrane is uh, exposed to a lot of this intoxication. Then you need to have something that recovers, recovers this neuronal membrane and the omega-3, I think, do that. And then when you have a better uh, neuronal membrane, uh, this improves the neurochemical functioning of all these membranes, improving them faster the communication. This is a very important thing that the parents have to be warning. One is, it's very important the quality. And as we said, the quality of the omega-3 is important because you need a one omega-3 that can be, have a very good absorption of your intestine. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you don't have in the blood. And the second is, if you have a better quality, will be better the penetration to the, mem to the brain. And then you will have the, the function, no, the improvement of the brain function. Then the other thing is uh, uh, if you have a high quality omega-3, there is a lot of uh, less, less toxic over the, this omega. As you know, the uh, very bad omegas have a lot of, uh, um, how to say, the lead and other yeah, mercury, yes, a contaminants. And then the cheaper can be very bad. Then it's very important the quality and the doses. If you want to use the supplementation as a cardiovascular um, supplement, you have to use 60 to 70 milligrams per day. If you want to use for better your brain function, you have to use more than one gram per day. Maybe one gram, 1.5 gram per day. That's very important. The doses is very important to help to, func to, to improve the brain function. In this moment, I recommend to use Equacen in all my patients over the two years old. No? And I use a supplementation in everybody and we put in high doses all those kids that have problems in neurodevelopment, language disorders, um, motor coordination disorders, hypotonia, uh, learning disorders, problems with the writing and, and lecture. 
and with uh, autism and ADHD patients. I start with a 1.5 grams and I maintain the doses at least for 12 weeks. And if I have a very, uh, I have a result, then I maintain at least for six months, six months to one year. We are now doing two studies. One is uh, using fMRI, uh, measuring the how this. Uh, uh, tracts in the brain are growing and how they are functioning in one study is called resting state. Then we can uh, measure how is the brain growing and how is the brain functioning. And now we are having a one year follow up of these patients and we are noticed that with supplementation, high supplementation with omega-3, you can improve the growing and the functioning of the brain, but with an objective with uh, fMRI studies. And indeed, uh, the, um, one month ago in the radiology, we published this. And I think we'll, this will serve a lot because the, the, the patients can look how they are improving not only the functioning, but to this, uh, all this uh, construct of the brain, that we have that the patients for years will, will improve you know, in the neural development. Then we'll, uh, I think we will do more studies about this, this uh, fMRI and trying to see how we can, how, if we can help to build a better brain.